I'm Michael, but everyone calls me Mike. That's my little sister, Faith. Mom, Mike has my pen. She's a pain. Honey, stop harassing him. And you know what? I'm going to make this to go so you can eat it in the car, OK? That's my dad. Hey, Mike, you and Faith better hurry up. You're going to be late. He's a pastor, which means, well, it means all kinds of things. But right now, it means that we're new to town. It's not being in a new town that bothers me. I mean, it seems like New Hope is a nice place and all, but it's my senior year in high school, and who wants to start over during their senior year? That's my mom. Hey, Boo-Boo, what are you thinking about? She's really a great mom, but I hate it when she calls me that. Mom, please don't call me that. And I was thinking it's stupid to start school on a Friday. I mean, why don't we just wait till Monday? At least it makes for a short school week. No, actually, I don't want to do this at all. I want to go back to Lakewood. Honey, I know, but... Mom, I... this is my senior year. Mike, let's go. Hey, darling, bye-bye. Hey, he's gonna be all right. I think it's time that you give him that fatherly advice you've been talking about. No, right. I'm all over it. See you tonight. Daddy, what does this sucks mean? Put your seatbelt on, we'll discuss it later. But Mike Put your seatbelt on, we'll discuss it later. Meaner. Look, I know this isn't how you envisioned your senior year. But this is where God has us right now. Well, he has my permission to change it whenever he's ready. Oh, and remember, uh, Coach Miller agreed to add you to the basketball team. We're meeting him at 3 o'clock today. Great. Daddy, we're going to be late. All right, all right, we're going, we're going. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 like the bud a dream. Merrily, 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 down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, I'll see you at three o'clock. Uh, Mike, three o'clock, right? Yeah, three o'clock, right. Come on, Dad, we're gonna be late. All right, all right, we're going. See you, Faith. Okay, class, let's get started. I would like to first introduce you to Michael Evans, our new student. I would also like to remind you that next Friday we will have grief counselors on campus. And if you would like to speak with one, you will need to go by the school office and sign up. The counselors were there because of the tragic death of the student. It was coming up on the one year anniversary of Chase taking his own life. No one saw it coming and it left a deep scar on the entire community, especially the students. Your 10 o'clock appointment's here. You can send them in. Come on in. That's him over there, Coach Miller. I know, Dan. He's a great guy. You'll see. He was on the committee that brought me here to New Hope. 
Dad, he told me like a hundred times. And that's Lucas there, the big kid. When Chase was on the team, they called them the Twin Towers. Hey, I want to introduce you to Coach. Hey, Coach. Coach Miller. Hey, Brother Alex. So this must be Michael. Your dad's told me a lot about you. Sounds like you're going to be a great addition to our team. Oh, he's a great player. You'll see. Well, looks like you have everything in there. Head on to the locker room and get dressed. Actually, you're doing us a favor as well. The loss of Chase last year left a hole in our lineup that we haven't been able to fill. We really need another post player, especially with the playoffs coming. So uh, how's the team been handling? Uh, about what you would expect. Lucas is the one I'm most concerned about. I've been working with kids for years. But this is the first time I've ever had to deal with something like this. I wonder if there's something we could do to help. I mean, the church and all. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Hey, I better get back to it. Hey, everybody in, everybody in. Guys, this is Michael Evans. He's new here in town. And now, a part of this team. All right, let's get down to business. Playoffs start next week. And I'm not happy with the amount of turnovers we've been having in the last few games. If we want to win this thing, that has to stop. Coach, you always say that. <laughs> Green, mark my words. Play like that in the playoffs, and it'll be a short trip. All right, let's get in our four-on-four -four half court offense drills. Give me Green, Hampton, Wallace, Spence, against Richardson, Benson, Harris, and Evans. Evans, play the post against Green. OK, here we go. Tyler. Hey, man, I'm Mike. Need you to really pressure yeah. Spence. Now do us all a favor and quit the team. Force him to pass the ball. Trust me, man, I don't be here any more than you. Now let's get it going. Like I said, quit the team now. Hey, you two Lurbers ready? Yeah, I got it. OK, here we go. Everybody take five. You okay? This is a bad idea. Hey, Lucas has had a tough time lately. I don't know if you know, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, it's been tough on all of us, especially Luke. No offense, Coach, but I just, I really don't think this is going to work out. Oh, hold on a sec. This team needs you. Needs me? <laughs> I think my dad has misled you about my basketball skills. Mike. Don't take this the wrong way. But when your dad came to me about you joining the team, it wasn't your basketball skills that interested me. These guys need a positive role model, someone their own age. And that's the biggest problem with being a preacher's kid. Hey, I'm gonna go check on Luke. It holds us to a different standard, like we have all the answers. The truth is, I have my struggles just like all the rest. Besides, I don't even know these guys. They're not gonna listen to me even if I could help. I guess I shouldn't ask how your first day of school went today, huh? Honey, I know this isn't easy. Mom, please, don't give me the God's plan speech. Please. Yes, the Lord with all your heart. Honey, would you go and get ready for supper, please? But I'm not doing my homework yet. I know, but a short break will be okay. Typical. 
conversation gets good and you send me to my room. Hey, remember when we moved last time and how much you hated Lakewood at first? And then after a while you said it was the greatest place on earth. Give this place a chance. Mom, there's a big difference between the mountains of Lakewood and the swamps of New Hope. I know this place is different, but you might be surprised by it. Mom, it's not the scenery and it's not even the people. Mom, it's my senior year. And instead of being able to enjoy it, I'm having to learn to fit in. Wow, what a day. You know, I'm really starting to love it here. What's up with him? Hey. I don't know how you ever talked me into that. I can honestly say I have never been more scared. Rock climbing was never on my bucket list. You didn't act scared? Yeah, well, I'm pretty good at hiding it when I want to. Like now. Mike, you know life is full of unexpected twists and turns. We have a choice. We either face life's issues or we turn from them. I just don't fit in here. I didn't fit in on that rock. I remember hanging on the side of that cliff thinking, what in the world am I doing up here? But after we were finished, and I survived. It's one of the greatest memories I have. This is different, Dad. Really? Yeah, maybe. But, I think after all is said and done, you might find that this might be the best experience of your life. All right. I'm gonna go check on supper. If your mom's cooking, sure smells good. Hey, Mike. I have faith in you. Early. Yeah, I'm going exploring. Exploring? Where? Mom, I'm 18 now. I can handle it. But I saw some woods down the road. Looks like a pretty good place to explore. Maybe take a few good pictures. And you're the one that said to give this place a chance. Okay. You have your cell phone with you? And do the words no trespassing mean anything to you? I love you. A uh, kiss, please. Be home by five. I've always loved the outdoors. I could spend my entire life hiking and exploring. If only I could find a way to make a living doing it.
Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? This is private property. I, I was just, um... I'll leave. Good idea. Hey, wait. Aren't you the new kid? Yeah, I'm Michael. You're that preacher's kid. Oh, man. Okay, I'm leaving. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Tell them what? That you saw me like this. Secret safe with me, so. I'm Jasmine. Michael. <laughs> you said that already? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm guessing you own this land? Yeah. Well, my parents do. I just come out here to think sometimes. I can see why. You're lucky. Boyfriend. Former. What happened? He died. Chase was your boyfriend. Oh, hey, um, I'm real sorry. No, it's okay. I should go. Jasmine. Yeah. Hey, Jasmine. Hey. I'll catch up with you guys later, okay? Okay, bye, Jasmine. Bye. Hey. Hey. So, what's up? Oh, yeah, right. Um, I, I wanted to show you these photos. Yeah, I took these back at your place, and I don't know, I thought you might want to have them. Wait, you took these? Yeah, but I mean, you can keep them. I mean, they're yours anyways, right? Thanks. Hey. Do you think that you could teach me to take pictures like these? Yeah, sure, well, of yeah. course, yeah. All right, well, meet me out there later. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, I'd have to be after basketball practice today. Okay. Bye. Stupid basketball. No. We didn't know it was coming. I don't know what we could have done differently. But I'm his mother. I should have seen something. I should have noticed. I should have been watching. I should have recognized. I should have This is a normal day for her. Crying, guilt, despair, blaming herself. Heck, blaming me. How long does this have to go on? There's really no timetable for grieving. The process is different for all of us. Seems your grieving time is over. You think this is easy on me? You sure seem to be handling it okay. I'm handling it in my way. If I might. This might seem strange, but what you're experiencing is normal. I don't 
care about Norma. I care about my son, and I want him back. Don't forget, we have another son, and he needs his parents. Sally, life goes on. It's been a year. So what, we just forget about Chase? Is that what you're saying? I never said that. We just can't grieve forever. I can. Well, I can't. Not and keep my sanity. Both of you have every right to feel the way you do. I think it would be helpful if you incorporated some constructive things in your lives. Like what? Well, continuing this open dialogue. Sharing your feelings. Especially with each other. I also think it would be helpful if you were around other people who've gone through a similar experience. And you'd be a part of a support group. You're both hurting. It may look different, but it's hurting just the same. How long before our old lives return? Honestly, John, never. But there is a peace to be found. party and like I'm ready to leave people are leaving things winding down so I'm trying to find an exit but I go upstairs and this girl's following me I actually go in the bedroom she's knocking on the door I'm not letting her in there's not an exit I thought you quit man I never said that well you should have look man all right I, I I don't want any trouble. Well, you're fixing to get it. Look, if you think you're gonna come in here and replace Chase, you've lost your freaking mind. I'm not trying to replace anyone, okay? I'm just... You just, you just what, huh? Huh? You gonna save us all? Green, Evans, what's going on? Nothing, coach, we're just talking basketball. You know it's a physical game, right? Okay, listen to me. All of you listen to me. We don't have time for all of this. We play Highland tomorrow night. And if we don't get focus, the playoffs are gonna be over quick. Coach, we can beat Highland, even if the uh, angel here is playing. Enough! We have work to do. Everybody take the court. Hey, kid. Hang tough. Okay, everybody in, everybody in. Let me have your attention. Being a part of this team is more than just basketball, practice, and workouts. It's about having character and getting your grades. I just got word. Wallace, you're academically ineligible against Holland. Head to the locker room. Get your grades up. We may be to get you back in this thing. All right, guys. We're one man down. I got faith in you guys. We can pull together. We're a team. All right. 
Our scouting report says that Holland is soft on the post. So that'll be our focus. That's where our points are gonna come from. Okay. You right, you know the drill. Hey, keep it clean, boys. Play hard, no fouls. All right. Okay, turn it around. Offense goes to defense. That's the way, Green! Good job, Mike. Good job. Turn it around. I'm not scared of you, and you're soft and stupid. So he's hey, my hey, hey, hey. You better stay away from Jazz. What? You heard me. I said stay away from him. You can't tell me who to hang out with. What'd you say? I'll say it again. What are you gonna do? What you gonna do, Mike? You know what? If you two have so much energy, let's run a few gases. Everybody on the line. Green that way, Evans that way. On my whistle. was beginning to wonder. Yeah, practice ran a little longer than expected. So, did you bring your camera? Oh. I had that feeling I was forgetting something. I, I can bring it another day. Um, it's just as well. I'm not in the mood. Hey, can I ask you a question? How'd you get your name? Jasmine? Yeah. My dad. It's his favorite flower. Before long, this whole place is gonna be in bloom with them. It just grows wild. Kind of like me, I guess. Yeah, I like to see that. The, the flowers, I mean, not you. <laughs> Is it okay if I ask about him? How long had you been dating? We were an item since grade school. I really can't remember a time when we weren't together. He was my hero. What happened? I've asked myself that a million times. He just started shutting me out. I should have done something. Blaming yourself won't change what happened. There was a kid back in my junior high that committed suicide. You know, I kept, you know, asking myself what I could have done differently. You know, maybe just talk to him more, just be his friend, I don't know. You know, I had lots of guilt. But, but then I finally realized that, hey, you know, it's not my fault. What changed? For me, it was God. God. Now you sound like the preacher at his funeral. Besides, I've tried all that God stuff until I found out how flawed it was. See, it's not Christianity that's flawed. It's the Christians. I mean, we all have struggles. But God hasn't given up on you.
Where do you get all this stuff? Well, I'm a preacher's kid. What do you expect? <laughs> well, I doubt God would want anything to do with some troubled high school kid. I don't know. You might be surprised. It's funny what we believe about ourselves and God. Regardless of how many times we hear about God loving us, it just doesn't really sink in. Okay guys, all your hard work has led up to this moment, this game. This is your moment, this is your gym, this is your game. Now let's show them how we do it in our house. Tigers on three. One, two, three, Tigers! to admit that Lucas could play basketball. I guess that's really all he has in life. It's where he's fulfilled, where he can let it all out. But on this night, too much of his emotion was pouring out. Maybe it was the death of Chase. Maybe it was just Lucas being Lucas. Foul! Come on, you saw that, he's flopping. Ten, five, wait! <sighs> Green, what are you doing? You're gonna get kicked out of this game. I didn't touch the guy, the rest an idiot. Yeah, you have four fouls. You're on the bench. Benson, remember, you have four fouls too. No more fouls. Evans, you're in. Are you serious? Coach, who cost us the game? Did you hear me? You're in. Uh, I'm going in for five. OK, guys, keep your composure. <laughs> we got to get this win. We're in total control of this game. Mike, give me a few good minutes until Lucas can regain his composure. Okay, here we go. Tigers on three. One, two, three, Tigers!
Oh, we got a rebound. Come on. Down, Spence. Down low, down low, down low. Good shot, Tony. Good shot, Tony. Great job. Great job. Smart passes, make smart passes. Smart passes. Why? Push. All right, Evans, you're back in. guys they're gonna try to trap to cause a turnover we practice this a thousand times make smart passes if we can control the clock they'll be forced to fire put someone else in the game what i said put someone else in the game green i'll coach you play now make smart plays and watch your passes all right tigers on three. One, two, three. Fire! Fire! They're losing their composure now. We got to keep ours, guys. Stay in the game. You. Now we're out of timeouts. Lucas, pass the ball. Mike was wide open. Mike, you get the ball? I'm not passing the ball. You do as I say or I'll put your butt on the bench. Got it? <sighs> we worked too hard to let this slip away. Let's go out there and get this win. Tigers on three. One, two, three. Tigers. Tigers. All we gotta do is put him in the same situation. Let's go. Ball 
Balls out, balls out. Yes, green ball. Let's go. to admit that he can play basketball. And everybody loves a winner. Sweetheart, why don't you go ahead and get ready for bed and I'll be in there in just a minute. One day you'll realize the contributions I can make to the parenting discussions. Hey, I, I think we need to talk. I'm having a really hard time watching our son being embarrassed on the basketball court in front of everyone. And please, don't give me that building character sermon again. Well, quitting the team is not building character either. Liv, this is not as bad as you think. Try telling that to an 18-year-old who's trying to fit in. I hear what you're saying. I just know this is gonna get better. Trust me. This isn't a matter of trust. This is about the damage that's being done to our son's confidence. Mom! Honey, I'll be right there, okay? I think you need to think this through. Hey, Mike. Great game tonight. Seriously? Great game? I almost cost us the playoffs. I don't know if I'd say that. You scored four points. You had some big minutes. Be real, Dad. It was horrible. I was horrible. How am I supposed to face those guys? I know it's hard to believe, but you're going to look back on this so differently. You keep saying that, Dad. I remember when I was your age, trying to figure out why this thing happened or that thing happened. It's frustrating. But I also remember somebody shared with me something about how God works in our life. He said it's a lot like driving a car at night. You know, you only get enough light for the road right in front of you. But it's enough light to keep you safe. And hopefully keep you out of a ditch. And what do headlights have to do with basketball? I don't know what the Lord's trying to teach you right now. But I do know that he is. And I also know that if you will trust him, he is going to guide you through this even if it seems like you're lost in the dark. <laughs> well, we can both agree that I'm in the dark. Mike, you've got to remember that it's Satan whispering those lies in your head. You lose all perspective. For instance, what if you had fouled that guy at the end of the game? He goes on and makes two free throws. You guys lose. On the other hand, the way you played it, you allowed Lucas to make a play. It's a 
team game, Mike. So I say we celebrate with one of your dad's award-winning malts. Why don't you get the blender out of the cabinet for me? I think it was then that I really appreciated my dad for who he was. Thanks, Dad. Hey, I'm a preacher. It's God stuff's all I know. Where'd your mom keep those scoops? I think I'll Mom, I'm going back out to those woods. I'll be back soon. That's fine. Just be home by 6. We're having company for dinner. <sighs> Can I just skip this one? No, sweetheart. It's some people from the church that your dad's been counseling, and I really want you to meet them. All right. Hey, can I invite a friend? Maybe not this time. Come on, Mom. I don't want to be there with all these old people and be bored. That's fine. Just don't be late. OK. Love you. Love you. Just my dad. You need some help with that? Looks like you're having a little bit of trouble. No, I think I got it. <laughs> hey, I remember my camera this time. Oh, cool. I always knew I was a star. Oh, yeah, for sure. Look at that. Give me more fierce if you can. Uh, okay, okay. Give me sassy. Can you? I bet you can't. Like, give me one of, one of these. I like it. Okay, come on, come on. Really? In the boat. Okay. That is, if you think you can handle it. I can handle it. All right, be careful, Colorado. Uh. Oh. Paddle? Yeah, of course. Let's try it out. If you get in a bind, I can help out. Where to, miss? To the great beyond. I don't know. What about you? Easy. An eagle. A majestic, bald eagle. That way I could just soar over everything. No one could touch me unless I wanted them to. 
Do eagles like cheetahs? I sure hope so. Oh no, what time is it? 4.30. Oh. Why? I have to hurry home and get ready. Oh, by the way, I told my mom you're coming over for dinner. Your mom? Shouldn't you have told me first? Yeah. Yeah, that probably would have been a good idea. But, all right, um, I'll pick you up at 6, so you have to hurry up and get ready. Aren't you forgetting something else? My parents. Right, that might be a good idea. Um, okay, I'll be at your house at 6 to pick you up and meet your parents. Sure you have time? Hey, I'm a cheetah. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Stone. Um, I'm Michael Evans. Even though you probably never heard my name, uh, I'm here to take your daughter, you know, just to go eat uh, with my family over at my house. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, you can trust me. My, um, well, my dad's a preacher. <sighs> yeah, that's good, Mike, real impressive. Who do you think you are? Sir? Are you that young kid speeding up and down the street? Um, no, sir, no. And throwing beer cans everywhere? No, sir. Well, I want you to know I got my eye on you. You just keep that in mind, young man. Young people, I declare something else. Hey. Hey. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, don't be scared. Mom, Dad. This is Michael. Hey, Michael. Jazz said you were new in town. Uh, yes, ma'am. We just moved here. Where from? Well, we've kind of lived all over, but uh, we just moved in from Colorado. Colorado. Wow. I bet that was a bit of a culture shock. Well, the altitude sure is different. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, welcome to New Hope. Or as I like to call it, nope. <laughs> Come on. Let's get going. We're going to be late. Well, nice to meet you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Jazz, be in by 12. We're gonna be late. Okay, okay. 12 o'clock, no later. Okay, got it. That went a lot better than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my parents are pretty cool. They usually just let me do what I want. Oh, speaking of parents, mine are expecting us, so we should probably head on over. I have an idea. I mean, we have this whole house to ourselves. Let's just stay here. Yeah, it's, it's not a good idea. My mom would not be a happy camper. Don't be such a square. I mean, besides, don't your parents trust you? Chance. That's exactly it, they do. But doing something like this would make me lose their trust. Square. Come on, I met your parents, you get to meet mine. Oh, fine, okay. Faith, honey, try not to ask too many questions. Let the adults do most of the talking. Mom, don't take this the wrong way, but have you heard how boring you and Dad are? <laughs> well, we'll do the best we can. Michael is bringing a friend, so be nice to her as well. Mike has a girlfriend? I said a friend. 
But then you said her. But before that, I said be nice, remember? Yes, ma'am. Now finish help setting the table. Michael's got a girlfriend. Michael's got a girlfriend. Does girlfriend have a name? Not yet, but she must be angelic by the way he's acting. Obviously, it's Olivia. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. Hey, I wonder how much time we have before. They're here! Let your daddy get it. Remember what we said. John and Sally, come on in. Hey. Good to see you. Me too. Good to see you. This is my wife, Olivia. So nice to meet you. And our daughter, Faith. Hey, nice to meet you. This is our son, Lucas. Hello, Lucas. Your dad has told me a lot about you. Uh, that's my roast. I'm gonna go get it. Excuse me. Well, is there anything I can help you do? I'm coming too. So, Lucas, that was quite a game you played the other night. Hey, and your dad says you've been getting some offers to play college ball. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. But I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Well, uh, I'd love to hear more about it. Uh, let's go in the living room. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Is this some kind of sick joke? What are you talking about? Just take me home. What's the matter? I thought you were all excited. That looks like Chase's parents' car. Look, I didn't know anything about this. Mom just said we were having company. Okay, I know this is hard for you, but I don't want to go in there alone. Okay, then let's just both go. I can't, you know that. Please? Hey, Mom, this is Jasmine. Jasmine, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Mrs. Evans. It's nice to see you, Jazz. You two know each other? Yeah, we've known each other for years. She was, she was Chase's girlfriend. Oh. I had no idea. This is my first time meeting Jasmine. It's okay, Olivia. It's really good to see you, Jazz. It's good to see you, too. Michael, have you introduced her to your father yet? No, not yet. Well, for goodness sakes, Jasmine, come meet Michael's father. Alex, this is Jasmine, Michael's friend. Hi, Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, Jazz. What are you doing here? Michael invited me to supper. I think the food is ready. Why don't we go into the dining room and get ready for dinner? Faith, honey, wouldn't you be more comfortable over here? No, I think this is a good spot. Sweetheart, why don't you come sit by me? Well, uh, this sure smells good. Lucas, you're really gonna enjoy Olivia's roast. He'll eat just about anything. 
Isn't that right, honey? Luke, did you hear your mother? What's wrong with you people? Did you think I was just gonna walk in here, hold hands and have a prayer with you, Pastor? Was that the plan? Lucas, sit down. Or what, Dad? You gonna send me to my room? You're upsetting your mother and everyone here at the table. I don't freaking care. These people invite me in, sit me across the table from that joke. And you, look at me. What are you thinking? Really, Jazz? What are any of you thinking? These bunch of holier-than-thou Jesus freaks think they have all the answers. Lucas Green, that's enough! No, Dad! It's not enough. Chase was enough. Lucas. No, I'll walk him. Lucas, come back here! Sally, let him go. I'm, I'm sorry. He's a meaner. Look, I'm sorry. Hey, I mean, it's just Lucas blowing off steam. You get used to it. That might take a while. You know, the funny thing is, Chase was nothing like that. I think that's one reason Lucas's life is so out of balance, you know? Chase was always the cool one. Kind of like you. Us cheetahs are cool like that. Hey, before you take me home, I know a great place to go. Cool. Where? You'll just have to trust me. Turn here. And here I thought you were going to take me out to get a malt or something. Remember when you asked me to trust you? Now it's your turn. Okay, all right. Funny thing about trust, it's hard to earn and easy to lose. Just park right here. What's this? It's a party, silly. I can see that, but... It's just some kids from school. They do this every weekend. This isn't a good idea. My dad, he... Your dad what? He wouldn't mind you hanging out with all these sinners? That's not what I'm saying. Hey, I found I'm a lot more comfortable with these people than most of those hypocrites at church. Besides, don't be... Trust me. Great. No thanks. <sighs> Lighten up. Everybody's doing it. Jasmine, I don't feel too. Hey. What do you think you're doing here? Luke, stop. Actually, I was just leaving. That's a good idea. Michael, wait. 
Jess, would you let him go? Let go of me. The guy's a joke! Do you get that? It's over! Hey! Get out of of me! Good job! Good job, Wow, never seen you up and dress this early on a Sunday morning. Yeah, I told Jasmine I'd pick up on my way. Hey, you got a sec? Sure. How do you feel about last night? What do you mean? Well, your mom and I didn't mean to create such an uncomfortable situation. Yeah, probably not good planning on our part. Yeah, well, it wasn't our intent. Just that I've been spending a lot of time counseling with the Greens, and as you probably know, they've been having a lot of problems with Lucas. Yeah. Them and me both. Oh, wow. Where did you get that? Lucas. Bumped into him last night. Looks like more than a bump. Yeah. So you can forget about me and him being friends. Actually, I think you can be a really positive influence in his life. He won't even talk to me, at least in a civilized tone. I think you need to reach out to him. He's worth the effort. Dad, he hates me. Don't you see that? And to be honest, the feeling's mutual. Well, have you done anything to make him hate you? Uh, breathe? Well, all the better reason. Mike, he lost his brother. There's a lot of pain there. See, but that's another thing, Dad. He doesn't want me seeing Jasmine because she was Chase's girlfriend. He doesn't want to move on and he wants no one else to move on. Well, I wouldn't want to move on. And now you're defending him. No, I'm not defending him. Just trying to understand him. For him, moving on means leaving Chase behind. He needs somebody to guide him through this transition. Mike, Jesus was pretty clear about loving people. I mean, loving the ones that love us, that's easy. Anybody can do that. It's loving the ones that hate us. Well, that's the real challenge. Just great. I take that to mean you're up for the challenge. I don't want to be late. I'll see you guys after service. That took longer than I thought. Yeah. Oh, one more day, right? Yep. See ya. See ya. Perfect. <sighs> so did he push you up to this? Up to what? What do you want? I wanted to apologize for the other night. They didn't know. They didn't know what? Huh? That inviting me over to dinner with a guy that I hate, and then throwing my brother's girlfriend in the mix was a bad idea? That sounds like a setup to me. Honest, Lucas, it wasn't. I mean, that was the first time he introduced me to his parents. Oh, save for someone who cares. Look, can we just talk? What do you want from me, Jazz? Do you ever think about him? Every day. Where did we go wrong? Wrong? We weren't there for him. Do you think we could have changed it? What are you asking? I don't know. I just, I know something was wrong. I could have done something. We all could have done something. You know, that's the hard part, right? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. 
Well, let me get it straight for you, okay? As far as I'm concerned, what happened was an accident. It was a tragic accident. I don't want to hear you say anything different. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. I gotta go. Lucas, we have to move on. Move on? Move on to what? What do you want me to do? I have to move on. I don't know if you realize this, but it's killing me. All the what ifs. Please, Lucas, just don't let this destroy you. I mean, we've been through enough already. I'll live my life the way I choose. He's not coming back. Ever. And there's something else. We've got to stop blaming this on Michael. I wonder how long that would take. He's a really nice guy if you just get to know him. I don't want to get to know him! Do you get that? And you, what are you doing? No, really, I bet Chase would be so proud. to move on to. Out of here. Hey, Luke, I'll be right with you, man. Awesome playoff run, man. One more. You got this thing. Yeah. We just received our shipment of baseball equipment in last week. We still have some cool stuff coming in, too. You moving a wood this year? You know, we have a sweet little hybrid coming in in our next shipment. With your upper body strength. I'll take this one. Actually, we need to take all those. Okay.
Honestly, it was definitely a shock to see her. But it was good. It was nice to see her again. Well, please know we had no idea. Pastor, one thing you'll learn about this small town is everybody knows everybody. And that actually might be something that's going to help you too the most. How so? Well, one of the things we're learning about this town it's how much you care for each other. I guess it's what you call Southern hospitality. We have felt loved, even though it's been a very difficult year. Well, over time, I think that's really gonna help. Why did God take our son from Is that really what you're thinking? Honestly, yeah. I've tried to tell her that's just not true. Sally, I could give you a lot of scripture, even cliches. The honest truth is God loves us. Well, excuse me if I'm not feeling the love. It's understandable. Ultimately, God's purpose in all of our lives is that we're learning to trust Him more. I understand your feelings towards God. But better than that, He understands them. And I believe it's okay for you to tell Him exactly how you feel. Even if it's hurt, even if it's hate, anger. Don't you think he already knows? I often wonder how someone with no relationship with God at all could get through such a difficult thing. Sally, trust him. He will guide you through this. There's another issue that is weighing on us heavily. It's Lucas. He's just, he's so full of anger. How has he changed since Chase's death? Denial, mainly. Rejecting our authority in his life. Becoming distant, argumentative. 
Pastor, you saw him the other night at dinner. About the only thing that he has any interest in is basketball. That actually might be the best thing for him right now. And you know, it also gives you two a powerful tool to encourage him. In what way? Well, God's Word tells us that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And even when we're our most unlovable, that's still true. Well, when you and I see each other from that perspective, it changes the way we treat each other. And don't underestimate the power of the spoken word. Encourage him. Build him up. Compliment him any chance you get. You know that old nursery rhyme? Sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never harm me. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. It's the enemy that tells us we have no value and that we're flawed. Lucas needs to know he has value. True value in your eyes and God's. He already has a big ego. I'm sure there's a balance there, but I think he'd be shocked at how he really sees himself. I think he knows that we love him. He probably does. But sometimes, this might sound strange, Sometimes that's not enough. Make sure you put your love into action. Can I ask you a hard question? Would you die for Lucas? Of course. Well, let me ask you to do something even more difficult. Live for him. Lay your life down for him daily. Let him see your love for him in action every day. It's actually the more difficult choice, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it's okay for him to see a struggle even fail. Our kids do not expect us to be perfect. They've just got to be secure in the knowledge that we are battling with them and for them. That's it. Come on, box him out. Swing it. Better, better. Hey, everybody in. <laughs> I like what I saw today. Good hustle and good teamwork. We got Brandon back. We won three tough games without him. But Rockmore is a much bigger and more physical team. Look, guys. This is it, the championship game, what we work for all year long. It's going to be a challenge, but it's one we're up to, right? Right. right. OK, let's get it in. Tigers on three. One, two, three, Tigers. Tigers. All right, good job today, guys. Okay. Like what I saw, Tyler. Good job, Wallace. Hey, Lucas, hey, can I talk to you a minute? Hey, you know, we got off on the wrong foot, and I wanted to apologize if I, if I did anything to offend you. I want to apologize? I tell you what you can do. You can quit the team, stop hanging around Jasmine, and move back where you came from. Look. I know you've been through a lot. No, I'll tell you what you know, you don't know anything. This is who I am, me, Lucas. I'm comfortable with it. Lucas, listen to me, okay? No, no, you listen. You come in here trying to take what's not yours, be a part of something you didn't help build, and you have the nerve to tell me you know what I'm going through? 
you're just like every other Bible thumper I've ever met. You think you got all the answers? Huh? Well, you can take him back where you came from. Got it? So then Lucas grabs this guy and he yells, don't you ever mess with my brother again. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a good big brother, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's the best. I think that's what's been hardest on him, you know? He carries a lot of guilt. So I'm taking his brother's place on the basketball team and his brother's girlfriend. <laughs> Definitely given him plenty of reason to hate me. He'll come around. Just give it some time. You might not believe it, but Lucas is not a bad person. I'd hate to see your definition of a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you excited about the big game tomorrow? Oh yeah, I'll have the best seat in the house. What's that supposed to mean? It means that just like the last two games, I'm probably not going to play. But I'll have a great courtside seat. And I'll get in for free, so it'll all work out. Do you want to play? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> well, I think you're a really good player. You don't give yourself enough credit. Really? Really. And it wouldn't surprise me if you were in the game tomorrow. <sighs> Let's hope not. Like I said, you don't give yourself enough credit. You see, I just call it being realistic. That's it. Hey, I have an idea. I need to show you something. Okay, what? Just come on. Just come on. Okay, where are you taking me? Just park in front of the gym. You're gonna get us arrested. Don't worry, my dad's on the school board. Okay, so what do you want to show me? Do you know that'd be open? I have my ways. What? You gonna play basketball or something? Oh, no, no. I don't want to embarrass you, so. Remember, you trust me. Yes, okay. Okay, come on. I have a little something special for you. Just follow me. <laughs> this is crazy. We're about to miss it. Right. Come on, we're gonna miss it. Oh my gosh, the fireworks! This is my favorite place to watch them. Well, yeah, it's a perfect spot. What's this? What does it look like, silly? Well, I know what it is, but... I want you to wear this when you play basketball. You know, to give you strength and courage. Shouldn't I be the one giving you a cross? <laughs> Maybe. And you know, you're a much better player than you give yourself credit for. Oh. Well, I do. 
And this will remind you that I believe in you. Thank you. Come on, lie down. Come on, I don't bite. Now look. Wow. Have you ever seen anything this beautiful? You're talking about the stars? The, the, the fireworks? What about you? <laughs> Good answer. But in this case, I'm talking about the stars. Tell me, what's the first thing that comes into your mind when you look at all this? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Wow. I'm guessing that's from the Bible? No, I wrote that. Yeah. When we lived in Colorado, my dad and I, we'd always go camping, and he'd teach me the names of the stars, and he taught me that verse. Can you teach them to me? Sure. OK, you see that really bright one over there? Yeah. Wait, let me guess. Beetlejuice. That's a nice guess, but but no. Actually, that's not even a star at all. That's Mars, actually. Hey, sit up with me, okay? Close your eyes. No peeking. Okay, okay. Now hold out your hand. Is this another one of those trust things? Kind of. Just hold out your hand. It's my turn. Uh-uh, you picked all last week. It my turn. Oh. Hey, you two, let's get going. You're going to be late. Mom, tell Mike that it's my turn to pick the radio station. You picked last time. Meaner. Mike, why don't you let her pick the radio station? Mom, she listens to classical. And, and Mike is going to get to pick the radio station all next week. That's not fair. OK, off you two. Off. Go, go, go. Mike, drive carefully, OK? Honey, don't forget I'm going to be late tonight. We have a deacon's meeting. Uh. Wait, before you go, I have something important to show you. I found this in Mike's pants pocket. I could stand here and give you guys a speech about focus, about hustle, or teamwork about how the practice, hard work, and dedication comes down to one last game. One chance to do something spectacular. Something that you will cherish for a lifetime. And all that's important, I want you to focus on the moment. Enjoy. Relish every play. In life, man, games like this, 
ain't rarely occur. This is your day. Your moment. Save it. For yourself. For each other. All right. Bring it in. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. think they would stop the game? Or would it just go on? When Chase died? It's like no one noticed. The world just went on. And they couldn't feel the pain. Because to them it was just another day. just goes on, doesn't it? Hey. You have a game to win. Focus and play smart ball. Tigers on three. One, two, three, Tigers! Tigers. Recognize there's no I and team in order to win, you're gonna need some help. You wanna get that ring, do something that you've never done before. Bring your A game to the gym, check the crowd at the door, and leave it all on the floor. You gotta get it in if you wanna be the best and wanna win. Leave it front guard, front guard, the post! Tested. This game is not for you, that's a silent confession You've been playing through loss, heartache, and slight depression And your passion's been fueled by total aggression But you're a champion and you know what it takes to win Don't you lose because of pride, simply swallow it again From the sideline, lead your team and help them even up the score Be the general of the war, tell your team to leave it all on the floor You gotta get it in yes, if you yes. wanna I'm be the about. best and wanna win
to wait. Get training here. Lucas, you okay? <laughs> it's my ankle. <laughs> we need to get some ice on this. All right, let's get him to the bench. Seconds for us up, coach. Michael, you're in the game. Huh? You deaf or something? You're in the game. Let's go. Mike. You got this. You hear me? You got this. Come on, dude. Side. Red ball. Come out. Give me 30 seconds. Come on. What are you doing, Mike? Come on. Snap out of it. Is there some type of verse or something you Christians use in situations like this? What? This Christian stuff, is it real to you or what? Well, yeah. All right, then give me something. Like, there's got to be something. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. That's good. Come on, use that, man. Come on, you're better than this. Snap out of it. Wallace, the ball's coming to the post. I need some help on the weak side. Spence, I need you to pressure your man at the top of the key. Block the entry pass. Evans, get your head in the game. We're up by one. We need one stop. Let's come together and get this stop, okay? Tigers on three. One, two, three, Tigers! One shot. Time out, Mr. Ref, let me get a time out. Okay, here we go, come on, guys, guys. Bring it in, bring it in. All right, guys, listen up, settle down. He's not gonna make him. I, I just don't think he's gonna make him. He can't handle the pressure right now. It's one and one. If he misses the first one, Brandon, Ryan, I need you to tip in the rebound, okay? All right, all right? Okay. Now, if he makes the first one. Coach. If he makes the first coach, he's got it. He got it. All right. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Tigers on three. One, two, three, Tigers. Get the shot off as fast as you can because you only got four seconds, okay? All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Cats on three. Come on, man. Let's finish this, okay? One, two, three, Cats. Here we go, Mike. Come on. You can do this.
the championship. Come on. Yeah, let's go. What's on your mind? Guess what my mom found. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah. I forgot I left the wrapper in my pocket. So what'd you tell her? The truth. Hey, I'm going to see Jasmine. I'll be home a little later. Hey, Mike, uh, before you go, you got a minute? Sure. Uh, Faith, honey, can you let Daddy and I talk to Michael alone? Besides, it's close to your bedtime. I know. You'll be in to talk me in. I never get to hear the good stuff. Mike, why don't you have a seat? What's up? Uh, Mike, I uh, found this in your jeans pocket. You have some explaining to do. It's not what it looks like. Why was I expecting that answer? I love you too much not to treat you like, like how I'd want my wife to be treated. Okay? I'm not proposing or anything. I'm, I'm just saying that I... That's the cool thing about being a preacher's son. You can pull out the grace and forgiveness card like that. <laughs> Talking to your parents about sex is not easy. Actually, I was talking about the basketball game and the big free throws. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then too, for sure. <laughs> did the necklace help? Actually, it did. It reminded me of where my true strength comes from. Serious question? We're so different. Hey. We're probably not as different as you think. Really? Seriously. I mean, what? You think I'm made of steel? Like, like I don't have my struggles? 
You sure put on a good show. It's not a show. But it's a struggle just the same. I mean, wouldn't your parents rather you be dating Snow White? Jazz. We all have a past. And we all have our current struggles. I try to live my life honoring God. And as the saying goes, you know, Christians are not perfect. We're just forgiven. Do you think I'm forgiven? It's for you for the asking. In my past? It can be just that. Your past. Ask. Will you teach me to do that too? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's a lot easier than astronomy lessons. <laughs> Wait up. Hey, my dad's having a fellowship for the team at the church, you know, later on. Just wanted to invite you. But, you know, coach is going and everything, so. Church fellowship? Yeah, but, I mean, it's laid back, get together. It's not like you can, you can stop apologizing. It's all right. Look, I'll go. I just, I don't, I don't want you to think I'll be some kind of regular. Okay, deal. All right. Yeah. Besides, God doesn't want anything to do with me. Do you really believe that? Man, you just don't know what I'll have done. You know, I just, no. God's not for me. I'll tell you what. You and I will go to lunch together. And if I can't convince you otherwise, then lunch is on. <laughs> betting man, huh? I like that. Yeah, you got a deal. So, how does it feel? What, going to church? Oh, being state champions. Uh, my whole life, people have told me I was dumb. I wasn't going to amount to anything. Proving them wrong felt great, you know? But, I don't know, I just kind of felt empty, just... I really wish Chase could have been there, you know? Yeah, well, me too. Heck, <laughs> you didn't even know him. No. But now best friends are, you know, they're hard to come by. Yeah. Chase was the best. Well, hey, um, I know you and I, I don't imagine us ever being that close, but I just want to let you know I'm not giving up on you. Hey, Evans. Say it again. I really meant it when I said it. I give it up on you! As crazy it may seem, Lucas and I got past all our differences. Yeah, it took time, but it was worth it. He was worth it. And today, my life is richer because of our friendship.
temptations in your life had you wildin', and the bills were overwhelming and compiling. Now breathe and marinate in your freedom, and if they try to hold you to your past, you don't need them. There's a method to the madness in your process, but don't you let your haters hold you back from forward progress. Cause you're a winner, homeboy, champion. I know you made mistakes, but you never fail again. Now that's not to say you won't face trouble times, but you won't face them alone because he's by your side. So you can raise your hands or beat your chest. You're on the winning team. Ha! We the best. Say we never lose. We always win. So make some noise and let's declare a dream. Just another day Trying to make the grade I've got so much to prove The jocks and the saints All the people that I ain't Don't understand my groove Everybody else Thinks I've got a better way And though I haven't quite found myself I'm learning I will Home. 